Yeah, hello guys, welcome to my new video. I decided to make another how to hack your Minecraft tutorial because in the last video people had so many problems like they couldn't open the JSON file with notepad or they're getting weird error messages. And I decided to do this video with Rubix, which is an easy to use hack client which has less features than Weavecraft but is also good. And the download link for Rubix is in the description. And it's currently working for the latest version of Minecraft, so that means 1.6.2. So let's open this folder here. As you can see in there, it's uh, there's a readme and ru the Rubik's client. And you should see a char and a JSON file. So the JSON file is already there and doesn't ne need to be created, which is easy. And let's get started to the installation. To install this, we need to get into our Minecraft folder. To do this, we go to start here and type percent app data percent and hit the enter button now we are in the roaming folder in the roaming folder there must be our dot minecraft folder so just look look up for it and click on it now we are in the dot minecraft folder here and then we go to versions and here we create a new folder which is called rubix okay now you go into the downloaded folder here and go to the Rubix folder and copy the Rubix jar and the Rubix JSON file. Just right click, copy and now go into the Rubix folder you've just created in the versions folder here and paste the files in there. As you can see the folder has to be exactly the same name as the files. The files are called Rubix so the folder has to be called Rubix2. And you can now open the JSON file with notepad if you want to. As you can see the ID is already Rubik's so you don't need to edit the ID. And there were many questions on I on how to open this with Notepad because some people hadn't opened with. If you haven't if you don't have open with you can just right click on this and press the open button. Then Windows should ask you open with what app and then you're browsing for Notepad. Or if that doesn't work for you, you can press the Windows button plus R and then type notepad and then notepad should um, pop up and you can go to file open and then just browse for the folder here so you can right click there properties copy that folder here and type this here and then you're in the minecraft folder and versions folder then go to rubik's and here go to all files and then you can select the JSON file and press the open button. Um, don't forget to hit the save button if you edit the idea, because if you don't save it, um, it won't have the changes in there. Okay, now you're done and we can start Minecraft. Okay, now I recommend creating a new profile. To do this, you just click on new profile here and rename the profile to the hack client you're using, for instance Rubix here and then go to use version and go to release Rubix and then just save the profile and here in this menu select Rubix then enter your login and just hit the play button now it should um, start up um, with no errors, if you get errors, please um, deinstall your whole Minecraft to do this. You just um, go into your Minecraft folder and delete this whole folder here and re download Minecraft from the Mojang side and install it again. Then you have a clean Minecraft and you can install the hack client again. So, this is what, what Rubik's looks like here. As you can see, it has not Optifine included for now. But this will come maybe, I don't know, on Weepcraft it will definitely come. And I will show you now in single player how some features work here. So guys, we're here back in the game. And as you can see, there's a hack client menu on the left top corner of the screen. And to bring this to front or hide, you just need to press the up arrow button on the keyboard. And to go through the pages, you need just to press left or right arrow key. And this menu has four pages. And on the fourth page, you can see your coordinates, your frames per second, and in which direction you're currently moving. And on the other pages, you can see the hex here. 
To activate the hack, you just need to press the key which is on in the bracket um, left to the to the hack. So if you want to fly, you just need to press the F button here. And maybe you have seen it on page three in the bracket. It says none. That means there is no key um, configured for this hacks, and you need to configure them by your own. I will later show you how to do this. But there is also another menu in this hack. If you press the right control button on the keyboard. You can see um, this here, and to expand those two things here, Word and Player, you just click on the plus button. And here you can activate mods by just clicking on them. So if you want to activate X-Ray, for example, you just need to press that X-Ray. And you can also edit the blocks you want to see in X-Ray mode. So if you want to see resources and chests, just click on them and you will see them. And now I show you how to configure um, the buttons for the hex. To, to do this, you just need to press Escape and go to Options. And then go to Hack Controls. And here you can edit every short key for every hack. So just press on it and then press on a button on the keyboard. And then this um, button on the keyboard is the short key for this hack. Okay, so that was my tutorial on how to install it and a short overview from the features of Rubix and how to use it. And I hope this tutorial helps you all to uh, successfully install the hack client and use it. And please stay tuned for more videos, like and subscribe, maybe leave a comment. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.